some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. This video was sent to me by a subscriber and it is a doozy as well as lengthy. It is over an hour and a half long, well, roughly an hour and a half long anyway, but I'm not going to have you sit through all that. I'm just going to focus on a few minutes of it and then we'll move on. But anyway, shout out to Bama Mike for posting this uh, content a couple days ago. Uh, go check out the full length video if you so desire. It is pretty crazy. And by crazy, I mean this sovereign citizen is, well, intoxicated, and he's spewing out a lot of the sovereign citizen mumbo-jumbo garbage that they like to spit out. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. 516. On the northbound side. Stay in your vehicle. I have never been a police officer, but I am sure that a situation like this where the suspect hops out of the car like that must be a bit terrifying because you don't know what they're about to do. But luckily in this situation, this sovtard was fairly harmless. So let's just carry on with the video. Sir? Sir? Come back over here. Come over here. I don't want you getting hit. Listen. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I want to know why am I being pulled over? Is there an uh, injured party? I don't know why you pulled me to the side, but this is not lawful from what I understand. Okay. I haven't so even had a chance to talk to you, no, sir. No, but you hit the lights. Uh huh. Nice, and I understand that there has to be an injured party. Start me a heat unit. No, sir. there is not, sir. Come over here, sir. I need you to come back over here, standing behind your vehicle. Sir, I need you to stand behind your vehicle. Could you please tell me why? I can't until you come back here, stand behind your vehicle, so you don't get hit by a car. I'm not being. Do you see cars coming by, sir? I don't want you getting hit. Do you want to go to the hospital tonight? You want to stand in my no, sir. No, sir. Do not get back in your vehicle. Come over here and stand over here. Sir. Sir, I'm telling you, you right now. Party? You I, have party? Listen to me. And so it begins. That's right. Caution. So it begins. He's beginning to spout off all that soft, tarred nonsense with the responding officer and his backup as soon as they arrive. And yes, I know the timestamp is from 2018, but I'm sure there must be somebody around here who hasn't seen this video because it's new to me. Stand here. To me, turn, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Sir. Are you going to listen to me or do I need to detain you? I'm trying to talk to you, but right now I want you to come over here to the side of your, back side of your truck or your car so you do Why? not get hit by a car. I'm going to stand I'm going to say this one last time. No, you are not going to open that door. Go. Thank you. Now listen to me, sir. Do you have your license on you? I am not. Do you have your license? Do you have your driver's Why license? Have you pulled me over? I will explain that in a second. Can you tell me where Why your driver's have you license? Pulled me over. I pulled you over, sir, because you hit. The, you, you could not. You could not maintain your lane. You swerved into the other lane three times before I hit my lights. Do you have an injured party, sir? Do I have do what? You, do you have an injured party? You pulled me over for what? Because what you could not I, maintain your lane. Where is your injured party, sir? Please. There is no injured party. Your... There's no reason okay, for that. So where is the crime? Well, uh, no victim, no crime. The argument that you solve tards love to give. Uh, well, for that matter, a lot of fraud tards too. Uh, but you don't need a victim to have a crime going on. You were swerving in and out of lanes several times, and that's enough probable cause to pull you over. I mean, for all we know, you could be intoxicated, and if you're intoxicated, you're a hazard on the road, and if they don't do something about it, then there will be a victim by the end of the night. Mainly in that you would have caused an accident and somebody could have gotten hurt or worse. You failed to maintain lane, so I pulled you over, sir. 
Do you have your driver's license on you? Where's the crime? Do you have your driver's license listen, on you? A, listen, I'm not a fictitious entity. I'm not. And I can tell you that this is a lead up to him spouting off that the United States is a quote unquote dying corporation. Because we all know that you lead, paint, chip, eating, Kool-Aid, drinking, soft tarts think that the United States is a corporation. And you guys don't know the difference between a nation and a corporation. So maybe you guys should get an education. Have you been drinking tonight, sir? I had one drink. How long ago? Maybe like two hours. Okay, anything else? I'm not going to answer any more questions, but... You know, like, I want to know. Look at me, sir. Look at me. Look at me. Listen, sir. All right, go ahead and have a seat on the curb, Ben. You're refusing the test. Go ahead and have a seat. No, no, I'm... Have a seat. Do you have any injured party, sir? Like, do you have a driver's license? Do, do you have injured party, Do you sir? have a driver's license? Do you have injured party, Have a seat. Do you have an injury? Have a party, seat. Sir? Do you have injured party, sir? Okay. Has there been a injury? Oh been, boy. Has there been a injury? Oh boy, it is right, officer. You guys stand there and listen to a intoxicated sobtard, which may be worse than listening to a sober one. Has there been an injury? Yep. Don't That's reach in your problem. pockets. Keep your hands out of your pockets. I don't have any weapons. I don't know. I don't know that, sir. So keep your hands out of your pockets. I don't have any Let me see your wallet, sir. I need your ID. I don't, listen. Give me your wallet, sir. I don't have an ID. You don't have your I'm driver's license, then. You see, so you don't have a driver's license. Listen. All, all I'm right. Have a seat. Is, no, I'm not saying I don't have. Have anything. a seat. All I'm saying is. Please sir. have a seat. Sir. I'm not one of your fictitious entities. So I don't know why you keep saying fictitious entity like I don't believe I'm you're not here. A corporate entity. I do not work for the state. I'm okay. Not Okay, so why are you pulling me over? Because you failed to maintain lane. That's not a crime. Where's that your is a crime. Party? Where's your injured party? That is not Where's even an injured party in order to pull you time? over. All I don't, sir. All I'm saying is, listen. I need your driver's license. This issue here. He's pulling me over. I'm asking him, where's your injured party? That's all I want to know. What did he tell you he pulled you over for? He said I failed to maintain the lane. Okay. I want to know what that is. He seems to be under the impression that he can only be pulled over if there's an injured party. All I'm saying is, what crime did I commit? Sir, if you fail there's to maintain no lane, that's a violation of Georgia law. Uh, a citation? Yeah, you, you'd be giving a citation for that, yeah. Okay, so, I, citation of what caliber? People failing to maintain lane is the cause of accidents all the time. Boom. Roasted. Once again, sir, can I get your driver's license? All I'm saying is, Party. I'm not a, I'm not a How about this? How about this? What's, what's your name? Give me your first name. My given name, my mother, is Michael Williams. M-I-C-H-A-E-L? Okay, and Williams, W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S. What's your date of birth, sir? 36 heat and GSP is out with me, so I don't need any more units. What's your date of birth? You guys are just... Uh, from what my mother has told me. Okay. 483? Okay, thank you. And that's I pulled him over for failure to maintain lane. As soon as I pulled him over, he jumped out and started saying, I pulled him over for failure to maintain lane. He, pulled, he hit the line three times before he even hit the lights and then continued from on the other side of the... Uh, highway, mm -hmm. all the way over here, turn around and park here. Okay. He, as soon as I got here, he jumped out of the car and says, where's the injured person? He said he drank about an hour ago, hour or two. I know, I know the law. Yeah, you and every other soft tart in the world thinks they know the laws, but when it comes right down to it, you're nothing more than a, well, complete idiot when it comes to the laws. You don't know jack squat about them. I know the law. I know state, lawful state, law. State not law, legal. State of law as far as failure to maintain land and how that violates that's, the law. That's a constant. You said you know the law. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, that's legal to use the color of law. 
Ah, uh, yes, spouting off deprivation of rights under color of law. A uh, typical sovereign citizen argument that holds no water whatsoever, considering that's based in civil rights, not traffic laws. And civil rights are all about equal treatment under the law, no matter your race, gender, religion, or whatever. Color of law. What, so what lawful? you're saying right now is a whole bunch of nonsense. No, right, not not in. Right no, I've been in court. You're just saying a whole bunch of nonsense. Okay, whatever. You don't have jurisdiction. You don't have delegation of authority. Of course they have jurisdiction, numbnuts. You are supposedly a citizen of the United States, although not a very smart one. And these are police officers of the United States. They have jurisdiction in their district. And as far as delegation of authority goes, that's generally a term used in management situations. This is not that kind of situation. So you're spouting off a bunch of BS that doesn't make any sense to anybody because you're not doing it in the right context. Because you are an uneducated, Kool-Aid drinking, lead paint eating, softard. What? I have not. Yeah, you can act like you do not know. But I have no jurisdiction in all the state of Georgia. Under what authority? Uh, the Under Georgia what authority? Under what? No. So you will know this is unlawful. You will know this is unlawful. What's your name, sir? I just got here. Listen, I'm not a big tissue. So you guys want me over say I maintain or fail to maintain the lane. There's no injured party. I don't know what you guys are talking about. There's no crime being committed. Injured right party. Here. No delay. There shouldn't be an injured party. You didn't no, hit anybody. But, but I don't understand anything else. You guys are saying that I have committed a crime without an injured party, even when I go in a courtroom. Okay, right now it's, it's a I don't traffic understand stop, anything right? else. You got I'm your, just saying, I do not understand anything Do you have your else. ID card on you? I do not understand anything else, sir. You, I you have, have done it? nothing wrong. I have injured no one. I do not understand anything else. You don't understand anything else? I do not understand anything else. The things that you're trying to impose on me. I'm I not understand imposing anything. that you're not supposed to. I haven't imposed I anything. I asked you for your ID. To. Where's your ID card? I understand that you do not supposed to. I'm not supposed to. What? I understand that everything that you guys are doing right now is unlawful. <laughs> See, I'm getting real tired of this stuff right now. I'm getting real sick and tired of this shit because y'all know y'all not supposed to be doing what y'all doing right now. What's that? We are human beings. You trying to force us to be a fictitious entity? No. It's a dead corporation. We do not get any respect in the court unless we invoke our race like I've been doing lately. I'm going to tell you one. I'm going to I'm tell not, you this no, right no, now. I'm, no, I'm you not trying to. settle down. I will. Keep raising your voice. I, I'm just trying to. It's express, not going to make anything better for you. I'm just trying to express my expression because I understand how this thing's going. The I time to do that is in court. In court. If it comes to that, the time, the time to argue your case is in court. In court. You say you didn't do anything wrong by failing to maintain that, that right. Nothing real. If you receive a There's citation, no body, like, you can argue it in court. So why am I being? Why am I Where being? Did, all, the, all, we, all we did was ask you for your driver's license. I listen. I do not comply or understand the consent to what you're trying to force me to be. I do not have to be what you're trying to force me to be. Right? You, you, you I'm not like, forcing you to be anything. All right. You're trying to force me to be an entity that all capital letters. You're trying to force me to be this. I've been in court already. And what I understand is, man, y'all, all y'all doing is force this thing on this. We're not forcing all anything. All, you just got stopped for a traffic violation. Okay, so why am, why am I being detained? So, I mean, look how you're... injured party? Like, that's you're, all I want to understand. You guys are Did still, you hit someone? No. So there should be no injured parties. Okay, so where am I sitting here? Just because there's no injured party doesn't mean you didn't violate... Where's the code? You want a code? Well, here's your code for you. Read it and weep. But of course, you're not going to read it anyway. And you're going to say it's BS because it violates something or another. But you won't ever take the Tenth Amendment into consideration. So, whatever. Here's the code anyway. That does not exist with a human being, man. You know that. Why are you doing it? I don't Shane, you got anything? Is it a court? 
is it a folder like situation? Like I understand that I do not have to be a fictitious entity in such of when you get your beer. And it's a statement. I do not have question. to do that. You I'm a human being. being. I'm a human being. No, I have not to go. You have I had one drink earlier, way earlier. earlier. What time was earlier? Huh? What's his name? William Michael Williams. Mr. Williams. All right. So how long ago was it earlier? Four hours ago. You take any medication of any type? I just understand the law, man. And can I go? You please? understand the law? You said you said earlier you didn't know nothing. I understand the law. Okay. That's all I'm saying. You understand the law. I could. Then you should understand listen. that failure to maintain lane is a violation of the law. That's a citation. Uh, 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 uh. Excuse me, sir. Yes. You don't have to do that. I'm just looking at property. Okay. You know what? Listen, I can teach y'all a lot of stuff. I can beat you in court. I'm ready to learn. I can't give you legal advice. Okay. All right. Come back over here. All right. Do you mind if I run you through some tests real quick? Make sure you okay be driving. Listen, I do not consent to. I do not understand any of this stuff. Could you please back up, sir? You don't. You don't have to understand. I'm asking you if I can run some tests for you. Okay. Field sobriety test. That's up to you if you want to do it or not. It's okay. I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do. And you're making me nervous. Especially you being black. Okay. You guys, please. There's no one in the party. And you guys are trying to force me and take my body as a human being. No, I don't, I don't yes, think we're trying to do that. Yes, you guys are. Yes, I just asked if you want to do some tests. Is a yes record. or no question? You record. I came out here to talk to you guys to get you to understand that I understand the law. That's all I understand. That's all I consent to. I'm not doing anything wrong. There's no injured party here. You okay. know you do not have no authority or no delegation. Of okay, me. again, I'll ask you. Do you want to do these tests, yes or no? That's all, all I'm asking. All I'm saying is... It's a simple yes or no. All I'm saying is... You do not have the delegation of authority to be here and mess up with me with no injured party. Okay, so... And if you have your radio rolling, you have your radio rolling, you have your radio rolling. Correct. You have own. I have violated no codes under human rights. I do not have to... You violated, you violated the code. By a citizen code, FBI, I do not consent to it. Okay, so I that's why I'm do asking you. Do you do you want to do the test, yes or no? I do not understand anything that you are trying to impose on me. That's all, all right. I'm saying. What am I doing wrong? Who have I injured? Who have I injured? Well, you didn't say you injured anyone. Okay, so what is the problem? You failed to maintain lane. I tried to initiate a traffic stop. You Where is the vehicle. injured party? That's all I'm saying. You have your Why radio you rolling. Where is the injured party? So who there is no I injured party. Why are we standing on the side of the... Why? Okay, but Mr. Williams, oh, enough with the act. You've been, arrest you've been arrested for DUI before. You already know that this is before. Listen, so stop. I listen. I understand nothing but what I understand. Where is your injured party? Who have I injured... What have oh. I done? All really I coming. understand is what he's just, I understand. He's just coming, he's just coming out there. Sit, so you're going to take my body. Yes, sir. All right, try and put your hands on your back for me. All right. Can I, take, can I take whatever you need to... Just hands behind your back. Why am I being taken? Do not twist. Why am I being taken? Right, right now you're being placed on arrest for driving under influence, all right? I'm not under influence. Why are you taking me? I'm not. Right. Turn around, face the fence. Face the fence. Face the fence. We don't want our injury. Took him long enough. Took him 15 minutes to get around to uh, pulling off the handcuffs. I mean, it was clear the guy was intoxicated, and it was clear that this guy was a complete softard who didn't know anything about the law. But luckily, the police got him off the road, at least for one night anyway. So there's that, at least. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.